Oh, okay, that's definitely not what I want to be doing. Okay, seeing that lady almost fall down there, we're gonna go up this way. <laughs> she didn't fall, I'm not laughing at her falling, but if she's struggling to do it, I can imagine it's someone as big as me trying to do it. Welcome here to Malta's Golden Beach. I believe it's called Golden Beach. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the Golden Beach. interesting because I'm here I mean it's one of those places I don't really have a lot to say it's almost like everything it's almost like everything here kind of speaks for itself but I remember this is a place where people are asking me or recommend that I definitely go to and I definitely uh, can recommend you guys come here you know it's funny because I'm here I keep on trying to think of something to say but it seems like if you guys come to the Golden Beach, it's kind of, you come here, you have a, a place where you can get some drinks and you have a beach and literally you just stay here, relax and enjoy the time. But I mean, Malta is like, as I said before, it's been it's like so it's been full of surprises everywhere. As I've been going different places, I'm just surprised every time. And this kind of, this is winter. And to be in a place like this, that's so close to Europe and to see people out, people in the water, people are swimming right now. I would be swimming if I had a towel and everything. Uh, just makes it, just makes it, I don't know. I can't find anything wrong with this place. It's the easiest way to say it. Golden Beach, I believe it's called. Golden Beach, Golden Bay. Uh, approved. Yeah, so if I can recommend something for you guys, if you guys come here, I believe it's called Golden Beach. I have a feeling I'm, I'm butchering the name, like Golden Golden Bay, Golden Beach. If you guys do come here, I highly recommend come here, sit down. They actually have food at this restaurant place that I'm sitting at. I think it's a hotel as well. Uh, you literally can sit here, uh, have some drinks, get some food. Uh, apparently the cruises, the, the late sunset cruise, the cruise to the islands, they don't go right now because of the, the waves, they said, from here. Um, but other than that, you just come here, you sit down, you chill, get a drink, uh, yeah, and bring a towel. I just wish I brought my towel. I probably would be going swimming, but uh, yeah, Malta is, uh, like I say, the best thing to say about Malta is it speaks for itself. Malta, it, it speaks for itself. back there relaxing I saw people like way up there so I have a new mission where I thought this would be really quick and done I'm about to find a way to go up there and I can see right now there's people up there can you see that right up there but the guy said there's a path over here and I'm looking from a distance I don't see any path to go up that mountain uh, uh, I think it's situations like this I've learned uh, just don't think about it because you'll talk yourself out of it I don't necessarily have the right shoes on for this either uh, okay I see a path it's not so bad I don't know how we're gonna go the rest of the way or how I'm gonna get down, but okay. I'm 
I mean, this is so, this is literally so beautiful. Actually, this might be the path up there, actually. I see there's a path going along this way, but there's a path here as well. It's here in Malta, I don't know what kind of animals they have out here. So I'm hoping that there's no snakes or anything like that. Oh, okay, that's definitely not what I want to be doing. Okay, seeing that lady almost fall down there, we're gonna go up there. She didn't fall, I'm not laughing at her falling, but if she's struggling to do it, I can imagine someone as big as me trying to do it. But it's what it's about, guys. It's about adventure. It's about the things that come up along the journey that you don't expect. I didn't know about this place. I didn't know we getting off. And to tell you guys one little secret is when I got off at the first stop, I lost my ticket. And I was like, do I gotta buy another $20 ticket? Or do I just take a dollar bus and go back to where I started and just don't see the rest of it? And I just said, okay, I'll just get another ticket. Okay, it sucks. I lost the money. But sometimes when you get to the end of what you had planned, that's when the adventure starts. Like right now. Okay, this is pretty high. This is the adventure. Ugh. And I get to points where that's what it is. Look at things as an adventure. Problems, look at them as, as puzzles. Adventure is a challenge. And this is a... Oh. Okay. I see daylight. I see the sky. We've almost made it. It wasn't as hard as I thought. But aren't most things like that? We think it's such a big deal. And then we do it. Oh. Oh. Woo! No one here to applaud me for doing it, but I did it. It's a step up for me. And I realized a lot of times, I guess this is more like a philosophical video, vlog, whatever you want to call it. Because I had time to think down there for about an hour. So many times we're discouraged by our challenges because we arrive at the finish line and no one's cheering for us. Who, who cares? You finished. You made it. You guys should feel proud of yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm one of the worst people at this. I'm always hard on myself. But there's times you gotta look at, you realize where you started and look where you are. And it's just like, that's something to be proud of. Something to be proud of. And even making it up here. It's so peaceful. It's truly, it's like truly paradise. It is truly paradise. So funny because now I think about it. I came all this way just because I saw people up here. <laughs> I didn't even know what was even up here. <sighs> wow. And what happens here in Malta, what they were explaining is pirates, it was a much bigger deal than what I even thought. And it was huge. So they didn't ever cut these rocks down. They made it almost impossible for ships to land here. You know, of course you have that little beach, but I guess it would have been overwatched by this tower. And pirates was a big problem, especially on the north side, they said. And yeah, I can understand why it would discourage people from trying to get here. I mean, it's hard to walk up here. Imagine trying to dock a ship down here. 
but I guess on that note, let's go to the, the top. Yeah, you guys can see up here from the top. Beautiful, worth it, it's worth it. Literally, I was in the bus and they were saying we could stop here, I didn't know anything about it. And sometimes it's just following that, following that curiosity, because you never know where it'll take you. It's a perfect example, and I feel like right, all, right now also is a perfect time to kind of end the vlog so I can kind of enjoy this moment for myself because it is, it is, I can't even begin to describe it, and I know the wind, and I apologize for that, but and it keeps going. You can see more cliffs and everything over there, so definitely come here. Definitely check this place out. Come up the mountain. Come up the safe way. There is a safe way, I'm pretty sure, um, but on all, overall, overall, Malta is it's a paradise, and I, I hope you guys got something out of this little episode real quick, and on that note, I'm, I'm pretty speechless trying to take all this in and talk to you guys. So I'll bid you guys good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and everyone always remember to work hard, be brave. And don't forget to smile. Ciao. Ah, dang it, just as I've made it to the top here, I realized that there's a whole nother part I haven't even discovered here. Look at this. There's like a cafe right there, another beach, stairs to go up, and there's another hill waiting to be discovered but not by me by you guys for next time i'm done gotta find a way back uh find a way back uh back down off this thing uh see you guys later